TII Technical Education Systems, Teaching Technology for Tomorrow. In this video, what we want to talk about is how to program a combination counter. This is a very useful instruction for tracking product in process or tracking how many things have gone into a process and then come out of a process. The real common example of this is always uh, the, um, garage, the parking garage, how many cars are in, how many cars are out. So let's take a look at it. So the first thing we want to do is let's go ahead and grab our combination uh, counter. So we, have our, uh, we go to our instruction bin, scroll down to our counters, and then grab the CTUUD. I'm going to drag this over here, and we'll just call this counter... We'll call this up, down, counter. Select OK. Now you can see that there is a lot of instructions here and options for what we can do. So let's just walk through these as we build it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to grab a input instruction that we will use for our count up. So we'll use the left green push button. Then what we want to do is let's go ahead and grab a input instruction for our down. So we'll use the left, the left yellow push button. Hit enter. And I have previous videos that I've created uh, show you how to, I've created those tags. Um, then we want to put a reset in here. So let's go ahead and use the right green latching push button as our reset. Hit enter. Now notice I'm showing you a different way here. Um, what this does, this left green push, uh, the right green latching push button does, notice that I didn't put the instruction in there. So this will just look for a false to true transition. It'll actually operate the exact same way logically as these two up here, but uh, I just wanted to show you that uh, option here. So let's put 20 as our preset value. All right. And um, we don't need anything for our QD since we're not looking for it to go true when we're in the negative. Okay, so then for our count value, we'll go ahead and create a, um, a tag. We'll do uh, up, down, counter, ACC, and hit enter. Okay, and we want to create, a, we want to define a tag for this, same way as before, so we'll go ahead and select define. And if we want an output to, let's just say, um, process is full, parking garage is full, whatever it is, we can grab an output and drop it here. Now, oftentimes in a program, counters, up, down, up counters, down counters, combination counters, are in the program, but not tied to any real world outputs. They're just there for data tracking. There are most, probably one of our most useful instructions for just tracking data, tracking product, tracking how many times something has happened, okay? So we'll just make this the uh, left yellow light, hit enter. Now, let's talk about what this LD stands for. What the LD does is if you, you can decide if you'd like to put a tag in here, an instruction to control this. And what that does is that automatically sets your accumulated, your, your counter value to your preset value. Okay, so I'll just demonstrate that for you. We'll use the right yellow push button, which is a latching switch on the TII Technical Education Trainer. Enter that in. Okay, we don't need to put anything here for QD, so we're only gonna go count up on this, all right? Now, let's go ahead and enter in a new rung here. And we are going to start this off by doing QD. There we go. We're going to select this right here. And look at our options that we can do. We can make this thing go true when we count down, when we count up, when the LD is activated, uh, when the QD is activated, meaning that it's gone down, or when the Q up is activated. So we'll just use the Q up here, for example. And we will tie this to the left red light right here. 
hit enter. So now we have an extra rung in here that'll activate when the QU is up. If I want to do the QD, I absolutely can. Um, but in this case, I just wanted to show you some of the extra options. The manual will walk you through the rest of them. So now this is ready. Let's go ahead and download. So now with the monitor function on, what we can do is we can actually see how all of these instructions work. So we'll activate the green button. Okay, and you can see that it's the accumulated is counting. Okay, we can have the down counter go, and that will decrement the accumulated value. Okay, we can activate the um, right green push button, and we can reset it back to zero or we can activate the right yellow push button and that will make our accumulated or our, our control or counter value equal our preset value activating Q up okay activating that now you notice that the red light and the yellow light went on both this went true and this went true as well okay this input that's associated with the QU on the up down counter the combination counter went true as well so I can reset it by activating this, and then if I want to count up 20, there we go. Now both inputs are on. Come back here. I can go down. Notice they turn off right away. As soon as, I, as, soon as my uh, counter value doesn't equal my preset value, it shuts off. And I can reset it right here or I can activate it, making my preset value go into my counter value, turning them both on. All right, and this is how the combination counter operates, TIA Portal V117 on the TIA Technical Education Systems Siemens PLC and HMI trainer.